a form that was given to you either at your interview or sent to you in the mail. It's a letter that told you to come here today. On this letter, it will have your name and address and slightly on the front. But on the back, we need you to complete this form in its entirety. There are eight questions. They're only asking you if any of these things have changed since your interview. Okay. So the first one is, have you gotten <coughs> married, divorced, widowed, or separated? Has anybody gotten married since their interview? Okay, so that would be yes. If, it's, if you haven't, it's no. Then you go to the next one. Anybody traveled outside the United States since their interview? If you have, you check yes. Break down the country and the dates of your travel. If you have, also bring your passport. Not necessarily an issue, but we just need to know how long your trip was, okay? Continue down, answer all eight questions, yes or no. Then below that, it's going to say signed at. If you're signing right now, we're in Carmel, New York. And today's date, we're going to put 12-11-2019. If you filled this at home last night getting ready, that's fine. Just make sure you change that 10 to an 11. It has to be dated today. Then below there is your actual signature. Okay, so you have Carmel, New York, or your home, wherever you signed it, the date, your signature, and then in the box below, we need the address where you physically live. Not a PO box, but where you physically reside. Okay, once you have all that information completed, we're gonna call people up by name. You're going to verify the information on your certificate, then you're gonna come to me. When you come to me, have this letter, and your permanent resident card, your green card, ready to turn into me. You're gonna give that to Homeland Security today. If you have any expired green cards or work authorization cards or any other documents the United States has given you, such as a refugee travel document, you're gonna to need to turn those in as well. You will keep the passport from your country of birth or nationality previously. So if you were born in Canada, you keep your Canadian passport. We just want things to the United States and give you. Okay? So have all the current and expired documents ready to turn in. Okay? After we complete the process, then we'll begin the actual naturalization ceremony. Okay? If you have any questions when you come up about the form, you can ask me then, but please try to have the majority of the information completed prior to being called up. All right, so now just listen for your name and we'll begin the check-in process. Bill Goldman, Putnam County Legislator. 
Paige Banfield representing Congressman Sean Patrick Malone. All right, at this time I ask everyone to please rise for the presentation of our colors of the color guard of the American Legion of Post and the main statement of the prayer that will follow. Color guard is Dan Fuller. Everybody here, we all come from different places. In our world, we have many different religions. I give thanks to the road that everyone has traveled to be here. The tenacity that you have shown to become citizens on this day gives us faith that we all come together as one world, recognizing each other as individuals, giving each other strength, guiding each other, supporting each other, we give thanks. We pray that you will take the hands of others and guide them as others have guided you to become citizens, to join us here. Amen. Uh, good morning and welcome everyone. My name, thank you. Uh, my name is Joseph Castellano. I'm currently the chairman of the Putnam County Legislature. It is my absolute honor and privilege to welcome everyone to our naturalization ceremony today in the historical Putnam County Courthouse in Carmel, New York. When County Clerk Mike Bartolotti uh, asked me to provide the welcome remarks today, I jumped at the opportunity. At my day job, I work at the Westchester County Clerk's Office, and without a doubt, my favorite day of the month, the year, is Naturalization Day. Uh, it's always a thrilling, thrilling to watch all the new citizens uh, join us in the greatest nation on the planet. When Michael first was elected to Putnam County Clerk, so uh, to Putnam County Clerk, I spoke to him about bringing the naturalization ceremony to Putnam County, and he, along with the staff, has done a wonderful job bringing the ceremony to Putnam County, and I thank him for that. Here's why I'm so excited about the opportunity I received today. You see, my parents immigrated to this nation. Uh, both my parents were born in Italy during World War II. My father would tell me of his early memories of American troops storming through southern Italy um, to end the war. At an early age, he decided uh, he wanted to move to America. He actually immigrated to Argentina and South America with his family, lived there for 14 years, and was able to emigrate to uh, White Plains, New York in the 1960s. My mom's family had the same idea. Uh, my mom's parents immigrated to White Plains, New York around the same time. Unfortunately, they were not able to bring two of their own children, including my mom. Uh, my mom had to stay behind for two years in Italy, and I know it was very difficult for her, especially when she would tell me that she didn't have a telephone to call her parents for two years, so it was a really difficult time in her life. But she uh, thankfully was able to immigrate to White Plains. In the mid-60s, uh, my parents met in White Plains in 1966, soon after uh, these two immigrants uh, to the United States married, and 51 years ago today, I was born in my plants. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's why I'm so excited when I saw December 11th was going to be the day to do the ceremony. 
it's, uh, you know, I, I can't, you know, I'm so impressed by all of you who've been there. It's a really emotional thing for me. Uh, when I was a kid, my father spoke Spanish, my mom spoke Italian. Uh, we were, I was just confused all the time. <laughs> We were a multicultural family before there were multicultural families, and, and it was a great job. Um, as my father would tell me, uh, to be very proud of where we came from, to honor and remember the traditions of where you came from, uh, honor uh, your family's past, and, and realize that this nation, he would tell me, will be uh, providing incredible opportunities to the future. And he would tell me not to screw it up. <laughs> he loved this country. He really did. On March 10th, 1993, in Lake Plains, uh, my parents sat in the same seats that you sit in today. They became citizens of the United States of America. And I'm very proud of that. They came here with little, and they uh, made a great life for me and my family. I'm very confident that you guys are going to do the same. And I thank you for immigrating to our nation, and please help us make it better. It's a great nation, it's in good hands, and you guys are gonna make it better, and I appreciate that. Uh, I can't be any more proud to be here before you today as a child of immigrants, and uh, I'd like to welcome you to Putnam County in the United States of America. Thank you. of the oath that will confer citizenship on each of you. It is my pleasure to introduce the Putnam County Clerk, the Honorable Michael Darwadi, who will now administer the oath. And I ask all applicants to please stand. Oh, wow. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you all for coming here. Thank you all for wanting to become U.S. citizens. Uh, I can't tell you how proud I am to see all the candidates here who've gone through that long and arduous and sometimes pricey journey to become U.S. citizens. So uh, it's very much appreciated and I am so happy to uh, be able to administer the oath to you. Uh, Joe said it perfectly when he started that, uh, when he started in his remarks that Naturalization Day is definitely my favorite day as Putnam County Clerk. Uh, I'm so honored to be able to uh, stand before a room full of candidates a few times a year and be able to administer their oath of allegiance as they become U.S. citizens. It, it, in my life, it is just the most humbling experience that I've ever had. And I can't, again, I just cannot... Words cannot express how proud I am of each one of you to want to become U.S. citizens and join our nation and be, with, and be here with us as citizens. And um, from the bottom of my heart, I thank each and every one of you. So without further ado, uh, all candidates, please raise your right hand. The Oath of Allegiance is on the rear of the program, so if you uh, want to read along if I go a little too fast. So repeat after me. I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abhor all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state, or sovereignty of whom or of which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen, that I will support and defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear arms on behalf of the United States. 
when required by law. Or that I will perform non-combatant service. In the armed forces of the United States. In the armed forces of the United States. When required by law. Or that I will perform work of national importance. Or that I will perform work of national importance. Under civilian direction. Under civilian direction. When required by law. When required by law. And that I take this obligation freely. And that I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. this day, that this is the greatest day in my job, bar none. Um, and I told him that when he finally finishes his journey and becomes an American citizen, if he's not here in this courthouse, if it's somewhere else, he's to call me, because I want to stand beside him when we do this. So if everybody who served in the uh, Armed Forces of the United States would hit, please do a hand salute. Everybody else, please place your hand over your heart and repeat along with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, one God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you.
We didn't have to pass the test. We didn't have to study the Constitution, or we didn't have to demonstrate that we could speak English. But this is your dream. You planned, you worked hard, you studied, you earned it. The fact that you made the choice to become an American makes your journey all the more special. Today is a tribute to your spirit and your sacrifices. And from now on, when someone asks you your nationality, smile and say those wonderful words. I'm an American. And realize that becoming citizens of the United States, you are changing not only your life, but also the lives of future generations. You're bestowing upon yourself and all of your descendants, just like my grandparents did 120 years ago, the basic rights all humans ought to enjoy. I am so very grateful for that decision made by my grandparents over a century ago. As citizens, you have many rights, but citizenship is not just a collection of rights, it's also a set of responsibilities. On a day like this, we are reminded of how we must remain both a nation of immigrants and a nation of laws. I urge you to become involved in your, in your new country, whether it's in your neighborhood association, or it's on a school board, or as a volunteer in a fire department, or an ambulance corps, or in one of the many not-for-profits that serve our community. Americans serve as a duty of citizenship. Citizens are also expected to fulfill other civic responsibilities, such as voting, serving as a juror, or shouldering the responsibility of civic leadership when asked. Today we celebrate the very essence of the country that we all love, an America that's been enriched by traditions and by cultures from every corner of the world. We are blessed to live in a society where out of many we are one, one nation under God with liberty and with justice for all. I thank you. you very much for allowing me to share this important day with you. I congratulate you on becoming citizens of this remarkable country, our country. The United States of America. Okay. It is now my pleasure to announce our keynote speaker, Carolyn Robinson of the Transplant Support Organization. First, let me congratulate you and welcome you as new citizens to this great country of ours. I am a member of the Transplant Support Organization. And it is our mission to educate the public about the need for organ donation. Right now, in New York State, there are almost 10,000 people on a waiting list for an organ transplant. These are people who are sick enough to need a transplant in order to live. Some of them will wait seven years. Others will never receive one. Here in New York State, we are the 50th out of all the states as having the fewest number of organ donors. Our goal is to improve those numbers. Here in New York State, we have an organ donor registry where people like yourselves can send to donate their organs upon their demise to a person in need. As a kidney recipient myself, my organ donor means everything to me, and I urge you to become an organ donor. Most of you received a registration card as you came up here, and I ask you to read it over. If you consent, fill it out, mail it to the address on the bottom of the card, or go online to the website on the back, Live Art New York, and register there. Or you can give it to me right now after the ceremony. Thank you very much. We will now have a rendition of God Bless America, sung by Isabella Seattle. Please rise. <coughs>
Ahora, ¿viste esto? Thank you very much. 